Alright guys, so we're going to be talking about shotguns within Modern Warfare and also a general weapons tuning update. What they're doing, the major changes they're going to be making to this game to fine tune it and balance it and sort of fix it to where it was at launch and sort of where it is right now. They've been taking steps with fixing stuff like dead silence and the spawns and now they're going to move towards bigger stuff like whole weapon balancing changes and within this video I want to focus more specifically on what they're doing to the 725 shotgun within the game. Game. Now, this shotgun is insane. The gameplay you're going to be seeing within the background of this video is my first game on with this shotgun. The first time I've ever used this shotgun just because I wanted gameplay for this video. No attachments. This was 15 minutes ago and I go 14 and 0. I'm just in this building and I'm destroying everyone. I'm turning on people. It's honestly, it was so much fun. It made me actually genuinely enjoy this game for the first time in a couple days because the past couple days I've been raging every day. I'm not going to lie. But this one game with the shotgun, it was really fun. So I almost don't want them to nerf it now. I'm not going to lie. But let's go through um, what they've been saying about this. So Infinity Wars Joe Seacott has confirmed on Twitter that the weapon tuning updates are coming to modern warfare but stop short of providing exact details or any estimated time arrival just to touch on that for a second this is most likely going to be a part of the huge overhaul that was leaked for this game and the time for that was around the end of november beginning of december and that's pretty soon from now so two to three weeks maybe a month max will be seeing these changes if they bring that within the huge overhaul update. If not, and it's a series of updates, and if they don't want one huge patch, which I understand they might not want, if they're really making that many changes, they might want to do that. They might want to you know, spread it out into a couple different patches. So this might be one of the first things we see in two weeks at least. So it's gonna be pretty cool to see what happens there. But anyway, this is what is going on. Many fans have been asking for an updated weapon patch to balance out the game, especially with the overpowered M4 and 725 in the game which appear to be the most popular weapons fans are using in games and here is the tweet that people are looking at nerf the 725 now it's a clip of some crazy stuff and joe responds with the eye emoji obviously hinting at yes they're looking at that and i mean it's obvious that they're looking at that it makes sense if a gun is clearly overpowered and i don't even need to show any clips i was going to show a montage but you're going to see in the background of my gameplay i'm just turning on people i'm getting kills i shouldn't be getting and again, this is with no attachments. I mean, when you know a gun is that overpowered, you don't even need the developers to hint at anything. You know it's going to be nerfed very soon. It's just a matter of how much nerfing they're really going to do to this weapon. Here's another thing. Um, Joe originally tweeted a bunch of stuff that they're looking at. So Claymore balancing, EOD adjustments, second round of footstep tuning, and more. And they said weapon tuning, or this guy said on Twitter. Um, and, you know, Joe responded with weapons tuning. So obviously that's hinting at multiple weapons. The two clear ones the m4 and the 725 shotgun those two are for sure going to be nerfed i think the 725 is going to be heavily nerfed and i don't know if it's going to still be usable after this update we'll have to see but it's definitely not going to be as popular as it was right now and the m4 it's you know it's overpowered but i don't think it's that overpowered it's a solid weapon it's a solid all-around weapon i feel like they're not going to nerf it as much as they would with the shotgun just for some reason i think they're just not going to nerf it as much as what they will do to the shotgun within this game. So, I don't know. I feel like they're trying to completely change the way this game is played. And it's just a matter of how many drastic decisions they're going to make. Like I said in my other video, this big overhaul that they're doing to the game, it's going to be a clear indicator as to what direction they want to take in this game and how much they want to change course for the fate of this game and how they want this game to pan out for the rest of the cycle. I try to mention this within every video because I don't want to be one-sided, but there is a group of people, I don't know how large that group is, but there's a group of people that are perfectly fine with Modern Warfare the way it is right now, but there's a large group of people that have issues with the game, have issues with a bunch of different stuff, and they also believe that even though there are issues with the game, this game could be such a fun game if they changed a couple of important stuff. And I'm in that camp. I mean, I think if they changed a bunch of stuff to the game, and I've talked about this before, you know, a bunch of the balancing, I agree with all of the balancing. I'm not talking about spawns. Every game has spawn issues, but a bunch of the weapon balancing, I want them to do something to the maps so badly. And I know, I feel like this is sort of an unpopular opinion, but it really isn't. If I look on Twitter, everyone's always saying there's so many windows. Oh my there's just too many windows within the game so little stuff like that get rid of a couple windows in certain rooms this game would be so fun i mean i love the feel of the game it's just 
insane to think that they made these maps with, you know, campers in mind. It's almost like they want people to camp in. I haven't talked about this in the video, but they've been advertising that, you know, this map has so many places to camp. It's such a great map because look at all the places you can hide and stuff. It's honestly insane that they're even, you know, putting that as sort of a focal point of their advertising for the game. And that's supposed to entice players to play. Obviously, that's going to entice people that are casuals and sort of noobs that don't really like playing the game. So I don't know. Hopefully they change course just a little bit, fine tune some stuff, you know, get rid of the camping mentality within the game right now. And this could turn out to be a really fun game. Now, on the flip side, most people and me have been trying to play this game like a different game. And if you really try to just go into this game with a completely different mindset and just not play it like any other Call of Duty, you'll have a lot of fun. This is exactly what I'm doing within this gameplay. Now, I don't think it's right. I don't want to have to play like this all the time, but I'm not going to lie. I mean, using the shotgun, most of the time within this gameplay, I'm camping in this one sort of construction site on this map and I'm having a ton of fun. I'm just letting people come at me from all different angles. I'm watching the different, you know, stairwells and stuff like that and I'm getting kills. I'm turning on people and it's really fun and it's really satisfying and I feel like I'm actually enjoying Modern Warfare for what it's for what it was made for and I don't like that that is something that you know I find satisfaction I'd rather find satisfaction in you know going out you know go, running around the map finding different people pushing spawns you know rotating doing all this normal call of duty stuff actually sort of finding kills instead of camping I feel like this game just promotes camping so much but within this gameplay it's rewarding and it's fun and I mean, if they want to have this for a different mode or something, if this wants to, if they, if they want to make it like a different type of game mode, that'd be really cool. But if the whole game is like that, and if you're constantly rewarded for playing like I'm playing within this gameplay, then I feel like that's just not as fun as what we saw within past Call of Duties, where you actually get to run and gun and you get to move around with your team and actually just do stuff and see the map and play Call of Duty like it's meant to be played. I don't know. I know this game's supposed to be more tactical, but this is just too tactical I, I i just i don't know i don't agree with it so i don't know let me know what you guys think about this hope you guys did enjoy i'm gonna let the gameplay play out until the end i think it's eight minutes long but thank you guys for watching hope you guys didn't enjoy and uh yeah i'll see you guys later